Hello, my fashion lovers. Look at this beautiful dress on this beautiful girl. Who on earth has decided that that's all right? What? Why? What's wrong with you, you'll ask me? I'll tell you. Let's look at the woman and the dress separately. Margot has a very beautiful body, obviously. She's very balanced at the top, at the bottom. She has very long legs, but her ribs, they go down relatively straight, creating very slight angle going towards the waist. And therefore, the waist thins out only after the ribs finish. Relatively to whom, you ask me? Let's compare Margot to Jennifer Lawrence. They're very similar height and build, but their body is constructed very differently. Jennifer's ribcage narrows down towards her waistline, creating a visual triangle. In comparison with that, Margot's ribcage is pretty much a rectangle shape. Remember this for now. Let's look at the dress now. Remember visual basics of light? What is light looks bigger and is coming at you, and what is dark looks smaller and more defined. You know when you go in an apartment with big windows and everything looks wide, big and airy, and then an exactly the same size apartment with tiny little windows, everything looks small and dingy. Now look at this dress, very big windows, and where exactly? On her bodies, on the waistline. Look how black bustier and the black skirt framing not so thin waistline into practically a square. And that square being the lightest object is really coming at you. Big fat windows in your face. We don't want big and airy waistline. We want small and dingy. When this sketch was made, I am sure it looked fabulous on paper. And if it's Chanel, it must be right. So I double-checked. I found this picture of Cindy Crawford wearing it on the runway. She is a runway model. She is perfectly built, right? And yet, I am looking at the square body, struggling to find her waistline. Conclusion? It's not the girl. It's the dress. If this would have been you or me, mere mortals wearing this dress would be looking in the mirror, crying, disempowered, feeling something's wrong with me, but I don't know what exactly. Do you agree with me or not? Who knows what Cindy thought about the dress when she first put it on? She's never gonna tell us. Right, I digress. I am sure this dress being Chanel archive dress, they really wouldn't want to make any major alterations to it to preserve it for history of fashion. So what could they have done for Margot when they combined this dress with her body? Well, the first thing they could have done is thicken the side corset bone decoration to literally draw her waistline. Oh look! Waistline like a wasp! Another thing is add layer of black or dark nude to under the corset and only on sides to create shadow. And lastly, in designing of the dress itself, they could have simply made more of an angle from chest to waist. What do you think? Would this have made a difference? Or maybe you see other options to make this dress more suitable for Margot? Let me know in comments. Do you guys have anybody that bothers your eyes but you can't quite figure out why? Let me know and we can look at it together. Big kiss for now and see you in the next session.